is Dr. Daniel Paul with Easy Orthopedics, and today I'm going to talk uh, about a topic I'm passionate about, and that's physician burnout, all right? Physician quote-unquote burnout. Now, I don't like that term because it's a victim-blaming term. That's saying, hey, as the doctor, hey, you're not resilient enough to deal with this, but it's not saying anything about the system. What if the system is so messed up that nobody, can, human being can possibly deal with it? And they're saying, we're not resilient enough? We work 24-plus hour, hour shifts, you know, during surgery the whole time. I mean, this nonstop medical school and residency and all this other crap, and we're not resilient enough. We're some of the most resilient people around. Um, these are system issues, you know. So why do doctors, quote unquote, get burned out? Well, when you go to medical school, and most docs that do are people that want to become doctors because they want to take care of people and help them. Now, medicine at its core is relationship based, and you you cannot compress that down. You, what they try to do with visits now is they try to compress them down to like 10, 15 minutes and no relationship can be established. It's very transactional. And when it's so transactional, it's bad for both the patient and the doctor. So, you know, if you, I, I really believe if you were to leave a doctor's own devices, um, they would probably spend a lot more time with each patient. So you're being told by clinical managers and such, hey, you got to see more patients, see more patients, and then you can barely spend time with any of them. You lose control of your whole practice, but at the same time, Nobody touches the responsibility that you have, right? Going at night, going home at night and worrying about patients and how they're doing, no one touches that. They leave that alone, right? So you've got all the responsibility, none of the control. And day after day after day, um, it wears you down. I mean, you feel like you're essentially a commodity. The hospital's like, how can we extract the maximum amount of value out of this doctor? We'll just work them to the bone. And that's when you on call all the time, seeing 50 people a day. And it's just, it's not good medicine and it, it, it's bad for the doctor and bad for the patient. So then they come around and say, well, this doctor's uh, burning out, quote unquote, you know, paying no attention to the system. And they offer stupid things like retreats and yoga and meditation. Those are just band-aids. <laughs> As uh, I listen to Pamela Weibel a lot, and she says, you can't yoga away human rights violations. And that's essentially what they are. So it... it it's not, it's not a doctor problem, it's a system problem. And then you add on to that the electronic medical record system, which are just essentially glorified billing you know, machines you know, that don't contribute any actual value to patient care. And you get all this, all this crap, and doctors just having to sort through it, working all the time, don't get to see their families, and it's like, oh, the doctor's a problem. No, the system's the problem. That's why I don't participate in it. I think it's stupid, and I don't want to deal with it. And I feel like I can deliver better care, and my patients are happier, and I'm much happier. So if you're a doc listening to this, just know there's a way out of all this crap. But it can't be by doing more of what you're doing. Because you can get as efficient as you want to get at it. The system will just tax you more and more. It's an uphill battle that you'll never win. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. I'm happy to respond. Um, if you like my content, uh, then please subscribe to my channel. And uh, thanks for watching.